Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can basically model another business's images and swap it out for your own product. So this on the left is a business is doing over a million dollars a month. And let's say us as e-commerce entrepreneurs, we want to sell the same thing. All right. But obviously we don't have the same product. We have our own product, but at the same time, we want to use the same type of images that this other business is using. So this is that other business. This is our business. And I want you to see how using AI, I've gone ahead and replicated each of these particular images just for my own business. Again, this is all using AI. And the reason I'm saying this is because when I launched e-commerce businesses or dropshipping stores, I don't want to make too many changes based on what's worked okay if this if this style of images is working i want to use the same style of images in fact i not only use the same style of images i'm going to bring something up for you guys not only do i use the same type of images i build the same type of pages as well for example this is my competitor store i build very very similar stores on my platform to be able to test products and that's because i don't want to leave anything to chance but in today's video i'm going to show you how using my ai employees i'm able to take any image i want and just swap it out for my particular product all right and that's how we're going to go ahead and model things that are already successful so in today's video i'm going to show you exactly how i do that using chat gbt and ai employees all right so first things first this business again 1.3 million dollars in sales we've looked at their website it's amazing and this is the product we found this product on aliexpress but the product is a little bit different now the goal is if we're going to go ahead and sell this thing they've already sold it and they were selling it using these type of images then why wouldn't we just use the same images but swap out with our product and that's what this ai employee allows us to do so let me pull it up let me show you how using simple chat gpt i'm able to basically upload my competitor's image upload my image and chat gpt spits out the same image but with my product again upload the competitor's image upload my image and chat gpt spits it out upload the competitor's image, upload my image, and ChatGPT spits it out. This is one of the best AI employees me and my team have ever developed. It's really, really easy to use, and the applications are endless. If you like somebody's design language and you want to just replicate it for your business, you want to swap it out, this AI employee does it. And trust me, in this AI employee's development, we weren't going to launch it. We do use it internally, but there are so many, so many things we had to tweak um, and, and, and prompt and this and that it wasn't stupid proof. It wasn't for, uh, just somebody like, like when I want to develop AI employees, I want to make it so that if somebody has never used chat GPT before, never used AI before, I want to make it even as simple as it, as it could be for them, right? The best example I can use is when I develop these AI employees, I want to basically, like my mom and dad, who don't use ChatGPT, who don't use AI, if they were to use it, could they? That's that's how easy I want to make it, okay? So above here is a master prompt, okay? Now, the, I'll sh tell you towards the end of the video how you can get access to this master prompt, but let me show you how to use it first, okay? So first thing is you enter this master prompt. It's really long, as you guys can see. I have to scroll all the way up to get access to this, but as soon as you enter it into ChatGPT, ChatGPT becomes an AI employee. In fact, it becomes your image recreation expert, okay? And it's a simple two-step process, okay? You put this in, okay? And so first thing is you have to download all of your competitors' images, right? So for that, I've started to use this tool. It's called, I don't know what it's called. It's just called like download image something or the other, but it allows me to just pick all of these images, just go to Chrome extension or... Let me know in the comments and I'll find out the name for you, okay? Um, but all you have to do is just select the images that you want to download, okay? So what I did was I went ahead and I downloaded all of my competitors' images. Then I went to ChatGPT and I put in this master prompt. Once I put in this master prompt, the first thing is it's going to ask, please upload the competitors' image. I went ahead and uploaded the competitors' image. Now, the way this thing works is that it breaks down in excruciating detail with code and with all this other crazy stuff, what this image is. The thing is, it needs to understand what the image is so that it can recreate it, okay? But 
not just, oh, this is a blue bottle. No, it needs to understand all of these different things about the particular image. Because when we're recreating it again, the, the image that's being created isn't a full recreation. It's a heavily inspired recreation. That, that makes your images very safe to use, okay? Uh, and so the, in, in the future, nobody can come for you for anything. Obviously, I'm not a legal expert, but whenever I try to give any resources, I want to make it safe for you guys to use. Okay, so then again, it creates a very safe to use version of it. So first thing is you just upload your image. Okay, over here, a chat GPT will break it down for you. Okay, and then you then it's going to ask you once it's broken everything down, it's going to be it's going to say, please upload your product image. You upload your product image and then it boom starts generating an image. And again, this is the competitor's image and it's given us a much more cleaner looking image and it's changed some stuff out. Instead of bestseller, it said customer favorite. Scientifically proven, it made it lab tested, right? Because you need your own take on this particular image, right? So you're not like using copyrighted stuff if there is anything. And it's done a pretty good job of recreating the product inside. This is a superpower, guys. Literally, imagine you saw a competitor, they've put in so much money developing their images, right? I'm sure they had to pay like a model for this photo shoot. I'm sure they had so many, you know, so they had to send out so many products, X, Y, and Z. And now using AI, I mean, look, I mean, I'm sure maybe a graphic designer had to work with this, I don't know. But with a touch, of a button with like literally two uploads of an image inside a chat GPT, you can now recreate everything. And it has been able to do really, really good recreations. Okay, it has been able to recreate for me this type of image. Okay, uh, it's been able to recreate this type of image, which was very difficult. I didn't know that it would be able to do it, but it was okay. It, it even went ahead and changed. So it's powered by Ferro Pure VXN, it's a different, it's their own formulation. It went and changed it to pure scent. So it's not even trying to copy what it's being made. It was be able to make tables, testimonial images, all of that stuff. And it made it easy. Okay, and again, all you do is upload your image, uh, upload the competitor's image. It will go ahead and do a detailed breakdown. Then you upload yours and boom, you get it. Upload a competitor image, detail breakdown, boom. And sometimes it will make mistakes. Nothing is perfect, and but but it only really messes up with very complex text. Like for example, I uploaded an image of a table. It gave me this, and I didn't like it, so I just said request changes. Put put the X, um, uh, put the X under this, right? I just said that, and then boom, it gave me the right one. Then I said, hey, create some spacing, and then boom, it created some spacing as well. And it's able to go ahead and do that for me. Now, there are some images like this ChatGPT will not create. So it will create safe versions that I can actually use as well. Again, this is an image of people using it. Again, it was able to go ahead and recreate that for me. This image on the black marble countertop, it was able to recreate that for me. This image of percentages, it was able to recreate that for me and rewrite the copy. This of this nice unboxing, it was able to create that for me. This image, it was able to create that for me. And for some reason, I really like the recreated images better than the original, okay? This is the ability of ChatGPT to do it. Now, I know that there are a lot of cool image generation tools out there, but for me, till now, I have not found something easier than ChatGPT to use. That's just me. I've not found something that's easier than ChatGPT to use. Other stuff, it you need to work it, you need to go press buttons, you need to do all of this stuff. For me, ChatGPT makes image generation easy because it's talking to someone who fixes it. Could the quality be better? Yes. Sometimes the text is distorted, yes. But for our purposes, specifically, I'm talking to people that want to do e-commerce image creation. So for example, this is my competitor's website. I've been able to clone it and create my own version because I'm going to go ahead and test the same product, right? So look at how easy it was for me to go ahead and then create uh, these images. So normally I don't really reveal how me and my team recreate these images. It's always been sort of something that we do internally. 
but I thought it was about time because there was so much intrigue around how I do this that I go ahead and reveal it. We use AI and we specifically use AI employees. Now, for those of you guys that are looking to get your hands on this AI employee, it's linked down in the description below. This took us really, really long to develop to make it so easy where you upload an image of a product, right? You upload an image of a product and you just, uh, sorry, you upload your competitor's product, you upload your image and boom, you get uh, the image back. That that took time, like specific, and images like this, complex images with text, you know, it was able to break it down. You upload your competitor's image, you upload your image and boom. And that's all the talking you have to do. If you look at my chat history, there's not a lot of talking that I'm doing. I'm just, uh, I'm just replying. So please upload your competitor's image. Done. Full breakdown. Please uh, upload your image. Done. Full breakdown. And then you get this. That's what I do here on this channel specifically to help people with e-commerce dropshipping. I develop AI employees. Now, the main question in your mind is, Ali, how do I get access to this AI employee? It will be linked down in the description below. I'm gonna. Go ahead and preface this by saying, yes, this is a paid AI employee because I promise you what you pay for it, you will save 10 times the amount in time that you would have wasted on other AI tools or other trainings or other this or other that to be able to get the same. Okay, I promise you. So that's linked in the description below. And if you're not new to the channel, if this is something that you know about, if you know the fact that we go ahead and we sell a lot of these AI employees, right? If you buy the ShopFunnels AI Vault, you get access to all of these AI employees, right? Now and the ones that I release in the future, all right? And another thing is those people that are part of my white label dropshipping community, which is my mentorship program, you guys obviously get all of my AI employees for free anyways, okay? So those are the three ways that you can get access to the AI employees. You could either go ahead and buy the individual one. You can buy the vault where you get everything or you can get access to my mentorship program where we go ahead and we white label store. So this is a store that's doing 1.3 million. As you guys can see, this store is in development. My team is developing it. We found the product. We've <laughs> changed out the images using AI and now we have the entire white label store that I'm gonna go ahead and drop in here, right? I'm gonna go ahead and drop the store in here and those that are part of the community can go ahead and start testing the store for themselves without having to recreate it. So we do the product research, funnel creation, copy rewrite, image rewrite, we create safe to use versions and really high quality versions for you guys to use. So it's up to you what you wanna do, but those are the different ways to get it. With that being said guys, I just thought this was, I was actually literally just building this out with my team and I was working on the images and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna let people have it if they want it. If you guys wanna recreate images the way we do, go ahead, do that. All right, with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Appreciate each and every one of you. Let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.